Can I put this in your window? I want a lodger. You're not advertising a house of ill repute in my shop window. I just want company and a bit of rent. Nothing doing. Mrs Windsor, I think people will admire your tolerance and generosity if you help charity to settle. It's a pound a week for the card. You deal with it. I'm not taking money from this woman's hands. <laughs> You're good with her. I find that reminding her of a stature in the village often helps. Oh, and it's always a good idea to appeal to her thriftiness. You mean she's vain and grasping? I don't think that's what I mean. Don't worry, I won't tell her. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I saw the card about the cottage. Is there still a room going for us now? No. Yes. Can I just check something with you first? Don't take offence. Do you want to live in a brothel? You what? It's three doors down. Charity Dingle. Thanks. Is she all right? She takes the morals of the village very seriously. Right. Bye, then. Judge not lest you be judged, Mrs Windsor. You're getting a bit more assertive, Emily. Thank you. Not a compliment. So, what do you reckon, then? I think it's fab. Do you want to see a few more people before I decide? Oh, no, you're in. Just like that? Sure. What? Betty didn't want to serve you yesterday. And this weird woman in the shop seems to have something against you. Do you know what that's about? I'm a dingle. So? So it seems to put some people off. Does it bother you? I work for Marlon, don't I? Well, do you want to move in today, then? It's 200 quid a month, and I prefer cash. Yeah, why not? I've got loads of stuff, though. Oh, well, we'll take my car. I'll call Terry to help us shift it. Terry? He does jobs for a bloke I'm seeing. Get to use him when I need him. Oh, sounds like a good arrangement. Works for me. <laughs>